Hi guys, yeah, I just wanted to do this while it was fresh on my mind. I just got done loading up all this junk here in Malden. I'm sitting in the shade. And let's go right into it. Let's uh, let's talk about the auction house. Um, I tell you, man, I, I really, I really, the more and more I think about it, the more downtime I've had with this whole coronavirus thing, because I never go in the store anymore. Uh, but, but that's another story. Uh, the more and more I think about it, the better I like it. I, I'll tell you the truth. And, and, and I feel like, man, maybe everything that I've gone through has kind of got me to the point where um, I'm more confident in an auction house, running an auction house, than I would have been, maybe. And, and, and here's the deal. There, there, I see four sources of revenue at an auction house. Number one, selling your stuff, right? You buy storage units, you get product, however you want to do it. You want to buy pallets, whatever. I don't really like pallets. That's another story. Um, selling your stuff through the auction line, that's one way. Another way is, of course, you have other dealers come in. All right, they, you're going to take 10% of whatever they sell. So if they sell $200, you got 20 bucks. If they sell $2,000, you got 200 bucks. Okay, so it just depends on what they have. But you know what? Most of the auction houses around here, dude, are doing anywhere from five on a low end. To 15 dealers a night. I've seen some auctions go till two or three in the morning. Yeah, this was pre-COVID, but but whatever. Uh, then you have now. This is where we, I would stand a little bit apart of most of the auction houses I see around here, and maybe people will like it, maybe they won't. Whatever. But our, the third source of revenue is going to be just your your best stuff. Some of your best stuff around the edges uh, and i'm not talking about some amazing amount i'm talking about you know uh, just have some stuff around the edges just stuff that you really know would sell for good money and you know what add 25 percent to it man and if it sells great if it doesn't sell it looks great it just looks good for anybody that's coming through the place i mean it's you know i'm talking about gold rings i'm talking about ps4s i'm talking about you know stuff that you just don't see every day of the week we found a chucky doll a few months ago that would be cool put that right in the window or whatever so stuff around the edges could be a source of income and here's the best source of income man the best source of income at an auction house in my opinion that you're not going to get doing any of these things ebay flea markets jockey lot you know uh thrift store none of these other none of these other things is going to you're going to get this and it's a concession stand Okay, food, man. Food. I'm telling you right now, the people that I see going to these auctions, <laughs> they're going for socialization and they're going for the food. Yeah, well, they buy some stuff while they're there too, but it's way less about, I feel like, watching these people, it is way less about what's coming down the line, what the guy's selling or whatever, and way more about seeing Sally and seeing Johnny and, and getting them a, a hot dog and getting them a... I mean, here's the deal, man. I, I showed you that picture. If you noticed in that picture at Pizza Dog, I had a grill out front of that place. I was cooking over charcoal. Man, we were killing it. I mean, sausage dogs were huge. Bologna sandwich. I used to cut these bologna sandwiches and put this, whatever. So I'm not going to tell you my menu, but I feel very confident you can make more than 50% of your money that you're going to make. In, in a concession stand, that's that's going to be your biggest source of revenue at this uh, at this at this auction house. So anyway, I, I hope to when the pandemic is over, uh, when we get out of this mess with the coronavirus, I really hope to open one up. I really do, and um, we'll see. You know, you guys keep following me. I'll keep this YouTube thing going. Maybe this is going to turn into, uh, you know how to successfully run an auction house and and what it all takes you know a year or two from now who knows hey tpk let me interrupt you there for a minute for some breaking news <laughs> you didn't tell them anything about selling at an auction house being a dealer not owning one all right so yeah so real quick let me interject here and uh just tell you that you know you can you can certainly do that the way that works if you're not familiar Typically what happens is, is they'll, I mean, around here anyway, uh, what they'll do is, you know, but it, the auction starts at seven or whatever, and uh, they, they'll pull numbers, you know, there'll be 10 dealers, let's say, 
and they'll pull numbers and they'll say okay you know number whatever your spot one number whatever your spot two but 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 what but so what will also happen is they'll sell the first usually two and three spot like a lot of places that I go to if you're lucky enough get pulled number one you're just lucky and you're up first which is going to be all the difference it's going to be all the difference uh, but but then they'll sell the second and third spot okay so you might have to pay two hundred dollars to sell so so it gets into the nitty-gritty of it or whatever man but he, he so if you're going to be a, a dealer at a nightly auction a lot of times man if you're dead last or you're near the bottom of the rung these guys won't even sell they won't even sell because what happens is if you're scheduled to be eighth on eighth guy up all right so mo a lot of times it's an older crowd you get an older crowd at these auction houses and by the time the third or fourth dealer is done it's getting to be damn near 9, 10 o'clock at night, you know, pushing 10 o'clock at night. And, and a lot of these guys are going home. Half of your crowd is gone, okay? <laughs> Most of the rest of them are only staying for the other half of the raffle. They do a 50-50 raffle. Everybody, you know, they're all gambling on it, right, whatever. And at the end of the auction, so somewhere in the auction, they'll do 50% of the, the take. Say the take's 200 bucks. Well, whoever wins whenever they decide to do it midway through or whatever they'll you know they'll win a hundred bucks and then you know at the end of the auction this is how this is one of the ways they want to keep you there right but so uh at the end of the auction they'll pull the other half they'll 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 raffle off if you're the luck if you're still there and, and, and your number gets pulled at the end of the auction which might be two o'clock in the morning you know you win the other hundred bucks so so whatever anyway the the, the point here is selling at the nightly auction is fine it's not consistent it's it's not consistent okay um, and you better be bringing some of your best stuff too man because if you, if you go and you and you got 30 minutes typically you got 30 minutes to sell so if you're just trying to sell you know clothes and and and, and socks and and you know stuff that just really isn't that interesting it'll sell in a thrift store it'll sell at a jockey lot maybe you're not going to get much money for it you know you're going to end up at the end of the night man with a hundred bucks and you're going to have to give 10 percent of that to the auctioneer um anyway whatever man there's guys that do it and that's that's all they do and i get it you know they haul it they haul a load down there they buy a spot they sell for 45 minutes or whatever 40 minutes whatever that that number two spot is and they just hammer it and they just that's what they do and they just whatever they they take what they get and apparently they're happy with it so you know more power to them i've tried it myself in the past the old nightly auction and uh, i'll be honest with you man like i said it's not it's not really my favorite if you're gonna make any money at an auction you better be running the thing. So that that that's I think that's all of it, guys. That's thrift stores, yard sales, eBay, and marketplace. That's jockey lots and flea markets. Hey, like I said before, if you know of another way to sell a bunch of stuff and and make good money at it, you know, I mean, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear more about how you're doing it because um, I like making money, right? And I like I like junking just like you do. So, all right, dude. Well, that's it. We're on to the next video. Who knows what that'll be, but uh, I know we got an auction coming up. I just talked to old girl here. She said uh, 14th and 15th of October. So, yeah, we'll see what we get out of that, and I'm sure there'll be some more abandoned goods coming my way before then. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share it, guys. Yeah, all right, guys, so as promised, here's a little bonus coverage. Uh, everything you just watched was Friday, October 2nd, and now it's Saturday, October 3rd, and uh, they're coming in. They're still coming in, man. They keep, they're going to keep coming in. They'll probably become a whole new video uh, in a few days with more and more, but right now, today, we got two more that came in from the west side of Greenville. Uh, and, and one of them doesn't look bad. The other one looks trashy. We're, we're about to find out. We, you're about to find out. And um, then there's some abandons, I guess, at a Malden. I just left Malden yesterday. 
but apparently somebody abandoned something over there she's put it in her her storage so we're gonna go get that we'll see what it is all right so here it comes yeah yeah so here we are guys got one of two here at this location it's gonna be a lot like uh, yesterday because Ellie Mae is still gone she's with the babies and uh, anyway so so yeah this is what it looks like as I open the door and uh, I tell you what man th there's an amp already which doesn't hurt my feelings I mean yeah nice Kenwood who knows what else is gonna be under here probably a bunch of junk but we're gonna check it out I'll let you see I'll let you know if I if I get anything good I mean there's that little guy right there I mean it's five bucks at least all right all right let's cut to it I'll show you what I find all right guys so it's been about 15 or 20 minutes I'd say probably 20 minutes cuz uh, you know that old boy the the, the, the the facility manager or whatever he come by he want chat for a minute but anyway uh, so that's all cleaned out and well you can see there's a bunch of junk because some of that some of that junk was from yesterday actually I just unloaded what I thought was worth having and the rest of this is going to end up going to the dump. But from this little fella right here, this little $5 bill down, I think there's a little bit of money here. In fact, just right out the gate, I'm going to go with 50 bucks, man. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, I mean, there's just, so, so, so there's a bunch of stuffed animals. We get like a buck a piece on them. This Mickey is probably the worst. He's probably the worst looking one, but I've seen uh, I've seen Ellie clean him up, you know, in worse shape than that. And he was talking. I really don't want to talk now. Well, whatever. Anyway, he was talking. This little guy right here was talking. All right. There's blocks. There's a vacuum cleaner, man. There's uh, so this old amp. This old amp right here. Actually, the thing I, the reason I threw this in the good pile, I got an old boy that loves to dig the gold out of circuit boards, and he'll buy trash stuff. I mean, I think this one's probably trash, right? I mean, why would they have it all apart like this and boogered up? But but anyway, um, he'll buy up old computers and laptops and any anything with a board in it. Hell, man, I've probably made. I mean, it's not much money, man, but I bet you in 2020. Well, it's hard to say now, see, because I ain't been in the store since March, since the corona hit. And I don't know if Negan's been st selling to that old boy or not. But anyway, I used to make money, man. I used to sell him a couple of totes full of stuff like this, man, for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever. Depends on what it was. And, uh, you know, hey, it was like trash it or, or take 40 bucks, you know what I mean? But all right, so anyway, we're moving on to the next one. All right, so yeah, I've opened this thing up. Like I said, it's a little unusual. The way we're doing this video but anyway I opened her up and here she is I'll tell you what I ain't mad at him boy I ain't really checked the drawers yet I probably should have done that see what the quality of them are but if them drawers pull which we'll we'll make sure they do you know we'll figure it out to try to make them the best we can if you have to wax the the slides or whatever but uh, anyway so there's that man there's a uh, couple of little things in here he has an end table I've yet to see the glass on that coffee table that's some kind of little bench thing I ain't really looked at yet this is one of those fold-up tables it's kind of cheap but man it's got to be worth five or ten bucks but hey the money's right here right money's right in here so I feel like man just right out the gate I think it's a forty dollar bill I mean it's solid wood too I feel like it's definitely a forty dollar bill I'm gonna dig in maybe there's something in the drawers I'll show you guys if uh, if there is Apparently they were collecting, these are all full. I checked one of them anyway, well that one's not. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they were collecting uh, Pepsi and Bud Light. Whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's pull it out. Let's see what we got. All right, yeah, guys, man. Hey, check it out, dude. Right out the gate, 100 bucks. I bet you a dollar I'll make 100 bucks here. That uh, end table right there alone's worth 10. That fold-up table, that's another 10. This little whatever it is, Pinterest project, I'm going to call it, 10. This is probably trash. I, it's one of those things, man, you know, it needs tightening and stuff. It doesn't have the glass. You'd have to talk some old girl into, like, 
you know, putting some kind of replacement glass or, or whatever. Who cares? Uh, I'm, I'm a, zero value. This Bluetooth, this thing right here is Bluetooth, and <laughs> it's got the uh, it's got the remote. So that's pretty cool. I've sold those things for as much as 20 bucks, man. So if it works good, what do you got? 10, 10, 10, 50. Now I'm up to 50. 40 bucks for the for the dresser. All the drawers do pretty well. Check this out. Not dresser. It's a chest of drawers, isn't it? Look at here. They left tools. I mean, whatever. It's got to be 10 bucks worth of tools in there. Uh, much trash in there. Oh, yeah, this one. Bunch of color markers, whatever. Um, there's an old Samsung, T-Mobile, whatever. Uh, an iPod. I saw an iPod in here. I mean, you know, they're not cool as they used to be, but there's batteries. There's whatever, man. I mean, you know, I, uh, I ain't mad at them. I ain't mad at them. I ain't going to keep going through the drawers. Some of the other stuff was like pictures and stuff, which I'll never understand that. But yeah. All right. So cool, man. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. We, uh, Pulled another hundred dollar bill out of here, so we're up to about 150 today. We're gonna zip over to Malden, see what she picked up on the property. Hopefully something good, and then we're going home, or I'm going home. I got some burgers to cook on the grill. All right, guys. So hey, yeah, check it out. Just a quick update. Um, we're almost to Malden, and uh, yeah, so so uh, yeah, so Negan, I dropped off that dryer. And a few things over there before I came out today. And Negan tested that dryer from yesterday. It works, man. <laughs> he, he cleaned it up a little bit or whatever. He was going to try 50 bucks on it, man. You can't find a dryer for 50 bucks. Not a working dryer, no matter what it looks like. Anyway, um, all in all, between so far today and yesterday, I think we're at about 250 So, you know, as far as value. This video really isn't about that. This video was way more about, you know... The different options you have for selling and my thoughts on them and my experience with them but uh all right so we're, we're just about here let's see what we get out old girl and uh i'll let you guys know